Hey guys, my name is Omar Zub and welcome back to another episode. Apple just announced their Pro RAW files with their iOS 14.3 update and they come only for the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. I mean, it's Apple putting the Pro stuff with the Pro devices. And of course, as soon as I installed the update, I went out to shoot. And I chose a very tricky and hard situation for all cameras, which is shooting a subject or a skyline with the sun behind it. To see how much we can stretch and pull out of the pro raw files and to toggle on the new feature you need to go to the settings then go to camera format and turn on the apple pro raw but first let me explain to you what are these pro raw files and how we can benefit from them see the way photographers like to explain raw files is as the following for example jpegs are like baked cakes so you can only put some decorations and whipped cream but you can't really change much about it and on the other hand raw files are more like the ingredients ingredients of a cake. So you have way more flexibility to make the final product, which is the cake, exactly the way you want it. And the reason RAW files are way larger in size than JPEGs is because they have so much more information and colors to play around with and change later in post, while JPEGs are compressed photos with less info and colors. But what makes Apple Pro RAW different than any other RAW files? Apple has a pipeline of photo editing that goes on when you snap a photo. It goes through a lot of different layers of editing that gets the final product as good as possible. And this is what they call computational photography. And with Apple Pro RAW files now, you get to be in the pipeline to toggle things up differently and as you want. We still don't have full access to all the information that we get but I'm pretty sure by time they will develop a kind of photo editing that you can't find anywhere else and that what makes it so special and different than any other kind of raw files for now Lightroom is treating the pro raw files like any other raw files which is great but we know we still have so much info that we can't play around with now why this feature is so important to some people with this feature a lot of amateur photographers that are using their phones to take photos they can now pull out way more out of their phone's cameras and get way more details in the highlights and the shadows, get better HDR and have way more details in the photo. And that's been it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed or learned something new. If you did, give it a sub and don't forget that life is all about love and dance. See ya.